Okay. This was a little bit harder than it should have been, to be honest, but I, I think I did it. Yeah. That's, that's the end of it. I can hopefully just press P and I won't screw this up. Let's see. No. Okay, hi! Hi. New episode. We finally beat the R team at their own game, basically. Uh, curiously enough, carried by uh, um, Yum Yum in Yesod's floor, of just killing the whole Rhino team all by herself with like 10 HP, but just juggling their stagger, um, synchronizing uh, the, the bullet ego. <laughs> that was kind of funny. I kind of want to build around that, to be honest. Cut and call. Thank God. Oh, let's see. No gifts for no one. But a lot of cards. Holy moly, a lot of cards. I need to burn them. The book of your old friend. Well, <clears throat> I wouldn't really call it that, to be honest. Yeah, also, why did that sound so passive-aggressive, Roland? Almost as if you want her to show remorse or something, which I understand, but still. Hmm, look who's talking. Let me let me see which people you knew. Like just passing, you know, just by name or something, which I doubt very much. You knew uh what's his face? Salvador? You knew uh Agalia, obviously you know him in a way. You knew I don't know who else you knew actually. But you seem to know a lot of people, and you haven't really remarked on any of them that much. So why do you want to know this about Angela? He's still waiting for that apology, I think. Who? Oh, I think she's onto it now. <laughs> okay, so that's the end of the episode. I remember a few episodes ago, Angela said something along the lines of Just blindly trying to achieve your goal is retarded to, to Zhao, I think. Oh god, she's actually asking him about that now. He's not gonna answer. I don't believe... I don't believe he's just trying to play devil's advocate, right? That's what it's called? Hmm. What are we doing today? I actually don't know. I, I went into this a little bit unprepared because I just couldn't let it dwell like that. Not winning against uh, our corporation. So are we gonna do... <sighs> Who the fuck is Nosferatu? That would be an abnormality battle. Road home and scary the cat. Um, Wonder Lab says hello and punishing bird. Oh, I need to do an abnormality. Let's do let's do this then. Let's see if I can remember how I built Gabura with a new red mist deck. I can't even remember recording this. I hope I did. I hope I recorded how I defeated Gabura with a red mist because that was pain in the balls. We're gonna check out Nosferatu, I guess. And maybe if there's a little bit of time left, which I guess there will, hopefully, if we do this successfully, another story reception. Oh my god. Oh god, it's the floor realization we just unlocked. I'm not gonna do that. I will, however, I would be up to lose, like, a new uh, story encounter. So what do we want to lose? Reindeer, Rhino, Rabbit? Or Zhao? Or what happens after the Rat Mist, really? I only have two of these. I need to be careful with them. More Galia, I guess? Gloria? Oh, I can't even do that one because I'm missing the Book of Hubert. Okay, we're gonna follow up with this now. I hope it's... If I say easy, it's, it's not gonna be. It is a Galia. 
Holy shit! Sorry, sorry for interrupting, Iori, but you're the purple tear. You sent Roland into the library. What is going on in the background? They're in the Reverberation Ensemble tent camp. Magalia has his own little like summer camp. Mentor? Wait, but if she sent Roland into the library, maybe she sent him in not as a help, but as some kind of attack or banishment? What if Roland was hot on Argelia's heels before he was like, sent to the library? I assumed that the Pilpeteer would be working with Roland, but what if she's working against him since she seems to work together with Argelia and Roland obviously doesn't like Argelia and I don't think that's a lie. So we're going to book her, right? We're going to book another older lady. Yes! Oh god, she has like Lauren or Sora type of swordsmanship. Oh god, what is... What, what's, what's going on? I thought you were little more than some deranged maniac. He thought that about her... He thought about someone else to be a deranged maniac? How degenerate is she? 그래서 잘 지내나고 있니? 인형사, 빛빛밤, 늑대의 시간, 어제의 약속, 톱니 교단 교주, 여덟 시의 서커스, 브레멘 음악대, 우는 아이, 파리네 셰프 중한 명까지. Okay, let's see. Puppeteer is like J J Hoon. Blood Red Knight is Elena. Red Le De Loop is uh, Tanya. Yesterday's promise is that Pluto, I believe. That was the name of his contract thingy, right? The leader of the Church of Gears is e Eileen. <laughs> I can remember due to the song. The 8 o'clock circus is Oswald. Uh, the musicians are... Hee Haw and Cockadoodle Doo or something. The crying children is Philip and one of the 8 chefs. I think that's Greta, right? The, the shark thingy. <laughs> Does he have his whole posse like together now or does he need more? Also, did he know about them? Did he set out to get them? Did he have some kind of like divine um what do you call it? When when you have like a flash and you gain knowledge. Oh god, I'm a fucking idiot, right? Okay. She told him to do that. So they did have some kind of weird ass feed of fetish for us. He plans to distort, right? Or awaken. One or the other, it's kinda of close together. Yeah, but if you're all the same and we're one big ass singularity, we also understand each other. Is that what you want to say, Argelia? She's talking about his sister, right? How? I mean, we don't know her. Maybe she was just equally as crazy as Argelia. Or maybe he went off the deep end when she died and he just believes he was always just crazy. Is he trying to hijack the library for his own gain? I mean, we know that. He, he tries to use the library for his own gain. This is also why he feeds it, but he wants to do a musical performance. I think his musical performance is literally... 
warping the seed of light even more so than it already happened by distorting everyone even more than they already are. Because we know everyone is distorted due to Distortion Detective. And he... He's basically like Adam 2.0, isn't he, at this point? You remember Adam? Like the failed A that forced the seed of light into people and made them into abnormalities? Basically dooming everyone in the process, I guess. Again, this feels like, oh, if we're all just one mass of bodies, kind of like Tomari, we won't be lonely anymore. Yeah, here we go. All of us can become one. How can she be okay with it? She must realize that if he gets his way, she's gonna disappear as well. So she must be crazy too. I I can't even dislike Argelia for what he says here because he's right about that. These people might have been abandoned, these people might have gone through hell, and they came out stronger than before. But why do villains always have to appreciate, like, murderers and, like, psychopaths? <laughs> why can't they go, oh, this, like, cute girl on the road that's selling cake and making everyone happy? She, she's the best. No, they must go, Oh, fucking Greta is eating people so beautifully, don't you see, my dear Manta? She has very long hair with me. <laughs> when are they gonna talk about Roland? Come on! Yuri, she's a color, right? That's why she's the purple tear. It's common, right? Has to be common. The voice that everyone is hearing that's driving everyone crazy, it has to be common. I still want Carmen to be the big bad of this game. <laughs> Maybe Iori is playing like a double bluff game. Is someone helping Roland after all? I don't know. I don't know if she's like working with or against Roland. He just mentioned her and there was no more information. <laughs> <gasps> Fuck me, don't tell me he's her son. What? <laughs> 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 oh. oh, wait a second, how old is she then? Uh, she. she. She need 
she needs to be at least like 55 then if she got pregnant very early wow you you look incredible for 55 <laughs> Um, maybe she wants to go to the library too. Hmm. There are places to go. Where do Why couldn't she enter the library in the beginning then? Why did she have to feed it first? I was about to say, wait, she can do what? But it seems plausible given that she teleported Roland in there. Or in here, if we assume that I'm in the library. Maybe she didn't have the power to enter herself, that's why she sent him. Is Angela seeing all of this? She needs to know. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Who is this? Is this Elena? Is this the Blood Red Knight? Jay Hoon isn't here. Oh no, there he is. Yeah, it must be Elena then. Wow, she looks weird. She looks better in a nurse form, to be honest. So, Agede gave her one last chance to join him, and when she said no, he went, well, then you're gonna have to die then. She's naming instruments. Oh, fuck off, Philip. I like the musicians of Bremen the most. <laughs> I don't know what I expected out of Greta, but that voice is hotter than I thought it would be. I'm confused. She's gonna escape into the library, right? He knew that was gonna happen. Don't tell me he didn't. Everyone he's involved with gets an invitation somehow. Yuri, Angela, She knows about Angela. She hasn't been in here before, has she? Non Chongmai. Kisarame Adam down Moksuriga. Telichana. Kresa Titilimul Mogui Sokun. Angela must realize that this is bigger than just about her, right? Why are you so angry? Is there something else? We are the light of the house. We are the goal of the goal. Yeah, but your goal is literally just I want to be a real girl! His goal is I want to fucking end the world! That's what I mean. I'm afraid of being afraid. Angela's 
That, it doesn't have anything to do with trust, I believe. Trio. Wonga. Dalla. You can still be afraid even if you're trusting the people around you. You got Dalla Jiginetchi. Tonin and I'll take on Dago Urum Jungle Rado, Kisa Tungetana. Wait a second. Toredo Hang Sankreko. Couldn't I have done this before doing the Arcorp reception? Isn't that a little bit of a timeline plot hole or something? Kuroge. Hot Tesoyka. Yoteko Taja and Sonimdir and Maganesso. Tegel Kajiko Turaka get done in Mokjangmani Sachi. Kugoto, Tarungose. Jojige Udumorina, Hopedin. Tashimboda Vie Saramege Nongigi Viamiasso. Mulun, Tashina Hengu Vie Saranangon, Kibon Tanjatima. Hajiman Chodir and Tala. Hakshira Mokpuga is so. Kuriko Kumokpunun, Nawakati. Namu Vie Umjigin and Yasak Turgua. Uruji Tashina Vie Umjigin and Yasak Turret China Co. Yes, Angela, and you're gonna realize that, and you're gonna realize that A acted in the interests of others, and you're acting in your own one, and that makes you kinda weaker than him, but just gonna give you time, you're gonna learn it in your own pace, it's alright. Everyone needs to, like, get that themselves, I guess. So, <laughs> の若田の目標を乗り切ってもにらんごじ。くれ。덕분에 People only know about her because of the invitation, because she signs it with Angela, right? Or is, like, do we have an information leak somewhere? Is the information, like, getting out? She even knows about that! How? Oh, sorry, hit my mic. How? How does she know about this observation function? Only Roland should know about that. What the fuck doesn't she know? This is a lot of revelations suddenly, by the way. Igato Esongiga Barge Panever in Togigetsi. Krom Narl Tung Nanyun Norl Tokdani Tosogani Chakshiri Songjangal Sweet Rok Negatayo? Wow, okay. The age old um tired fighter honorary sacrifice last duel trope. I respect that. 나도 내 나름대로 아는 정보가 많으니까 그냥 죽여 달라는 말을 태연이 하다니. 특색은 다들 맛이 갔나 봐. 설마. 나도 전력으로 상대할 거야. No, please, just go 50% on me. 나도 착각지 못한다면 내 방식대로 도서관을 부숴 줄게. Why did we use like the Bura's book for this, the Red Mist book. Ingane Sangdangi Kakaos in Nonin, one Johnny Chugi Sobjiman. Yoro Pampa for Manga Tirisu is the Kakakotin. Musum Marinja, I guess so. Ija Hossorin and Kumanago, Turogati? Suman and Chigan Moon and Tosaganeso, Kyogi Chugo Shipan and John Zera. Iron irony to Obgetsi. Chet Chandangona Chip Jungi. Mezongaginan. I kinda like Yori. Let's see if that will stay that way. The kid here. Now she's talking about Roland, right? He seemed unstable back then. 
Roland said that he was rampaging around, and that's what lost his grade. 그래도 도서관이 이렇게까지 커지는 데 이바지한 건 푸른 애송이뿐만 아니라. 음 그래. 도서관이 얼마나 대단한 것인지 한번. Oh, sorry. Didn't want to skip you. Oh my God, it's just her. 700 HP. No cards, apparently. Okay, Shimmering. Uh, we know that one. Uh, manipulator of Arts. When a die, this character plays rolls to minimum value. Reroll it. Activates one per, once per die. Holy crap. HP drops to the half, like 50%, 350. Forcefully end the act and move to another floor. HP cannot drop below 350 before this occurs. Move to another floor, so we're gonna have to use two floors for this. We have three floors available. At a regular interval, change the... Dance to one of the following slash Pierce Blunt at guard. After changing changing stances, dice of the type representing the current stance gain plus one power for the scene. Okay, we're gonna start with uh, Marcus Floor. Not being able to see your stuff is a little bit scary. But it's gonna be a lot of one-sided attacks, right? Since we have the time, let's slowly warm up. Oh my good lord. Duel. On Clash Win, reduce power of opponents next dice. Reduce power of opponents next dice. Reduce power of opponents next dice. I need some strong first first um first dice. Uh, which we don't have, but it's alright. It's all gonna be alright. If possible, we will stack up some stuff on her. Some 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 debuffs, that's what I wanted to say. We just need to get a castigation out of Nicole and Diego Pages. Oh fucking hell. She's dealing a lot of damage. Oh yeah, oh my good lord. Uh, <laughs> the counter dies, obviously. Blunt power up and what is this other power up? Blunting stance. I need to read this uh, thing in a second. Blunting stance. Blunt dice gain plus two power. Deal 50% additional stagger damage with attacks. Okay. She's burning. She has smoke. Do we have smoke somewhere? What is this thing? Um, she strengthened. Recover stagger resist. Deal two bonus stagger damage on blunt hits for the scene. Oh, that's fucking bad. Hmm. I feel like, honestly, stagger or rather stacking up the, the burn on her would be a smart play. Again, we want a strong first dice here. And we kind of want to take this over. And hit recover free stagger. Can anyone take this over with a strong first dice? Just one counter this time. Hmm. Yeah, I'm never gonna be able to get through this one strong dice, right? I can't be happy if I somehow survive her counters, really. Is this, is this how every episode is gonna be now? Like, I take a look at an encounter in one episode and then in the next one I defeat it because I had some time to think about it? Or maybe build some decks around that? Or... I mean, I have three floors available. Power affects this die times two. That is... Slash dice gain plus two power, so it has plus four power. Oh, good lord. Boost slash dice power by plus two for this scene, so it's plus... Plus eight? Eight? No, plus six? No. I don't know. She's playing this twice, so oh my fucking hell. Alright, who is this going against? These people are dead, basically. If possible... I don't know, actually. If possible... If possible what? Um. Oh 
god. Oh, just seven. Two to nine. That's current offensive die. Sorry, I need to think about this, you know, it's actually... Hmm... How much burn does he have? Four. Oh god, the stagger! Oh god, the counter dice! And the stagger again! Oh my god, we're nearly dead actually. How do I deal with uh, debuffs? Definitely debuffs, and maybe range cards or something. Good if she attack, yeah. If she attacks the people like that are staggered now, anyway. Mm. Good here. This needs to get through. Roll this up from the back. Reduce power of all opponents' dice clashing against us by 12. Think I'm gonna be able to go through the Violet Blade with this? I'm gonna try at least. What's the worst that could happen? And then I'm gonna take this over. Alright, that's good. The castigation actually pulled through. And so did the burn effect now. Oh yeah, and Hunter's tanking due to his passive. That's amazing. Might be able to get her down to 350 after all. Wow, the amount of light. And she changed stances again. She's now piercing. Venomous fangs. Inflict bleed and fragile. When inflicting bleed, inflict one additional stack. One additional stack, bleed and fragile. Bleed and feeble. <laughs> Fuck this shit. Okay, Hunter will die. There's no way around this, really. However, I see only one counter dice, so. Uh... We have castigation right off the bat again, but we don't have enough light to use it. Uh, how do we defend against this? This? Okay. Mac is staggered, but it's alright. It's okay. I didn't think I would be able to like get through this easy, right? But she, due to the burn effect, she will go down to 350. We're at least able to do that.
Like if she changes floors at the end of the scene now. Um. Other allies. It's just this scene. No, no, no. This scene is not good enough. I'm gonna give spores to Nicole then. And. Oh, yeah, recover HP. Wait, she's not fleeing? Oh, here we go. She is. Oh, she's forcefully choosing a floor? Um. Well, crap, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I, did, I didn't anticipate that. Uh, thank God, uh, Tipperef is like, all right, I, I would say. However, all right, might not be good enough for this encounter. Guess we'll see. Uh, where did the music go, anyway? Okay. So she's mostly focusing Dexter, which is okay with me. Um. Okay, my boys. My little sweeper boys. Do I want to go for the family or strength? Let's go for strength. God, this episode is gonna be another long one. Okay. Oh, that was some good defense! Oh, the counter dies. <laughs> Oh, you might not want to start with the strongest floor then. I mean, we will be able to choose the next one if we die. Oh, oh my god. Oh shit, it's a mass attack. Mirage Storm. Deal damage, deal stagger damage, inflict bleed and fragile. Then laceration and snake spray. Okay, let's deal with the it's individual. So we're gonna... Just gonna do that then. Who is she actually? Okay, we're gonna do this instead. Uh, Sturdy defense. Do we want to take this over with Tipper if we might as well? Oh well, fucking Dexter's gonna bite the bullet. Definitely. Individual. It's like, God, you don't really have the cards you need for this, my friend. Dr. No. Might be Dr. Dad soon. Okay. She hit a lot of us, I think. Yeah. Oh, God, fatal. And the last one hit all of us. And we're staggered. And we're staggered. And we deflected, but... Down to 300 HP. And the music is back. Okay, that feels better. Whenever an ally dies, all allies gain... Strength and haste and fragile. I can still get that twice. So losing a clash takes stagger damage, gain strength. It's not really good, this blessing, because she cycles through damage type, so we're gonna go for despair. Okay. Why do I have ready up in this? It's been 
doesn't charge, I don't have any charge. Why do I have this in the stack? Can't use decapit decapitation. Yeah, sorry, it's a hard word for me. Oh, there's another counter in there. The counters are just fucking me up, though. Yeah, now we're staggered. That's... Oh, no. Now Tipperef is dead. It's not how I wanted it to be. We all died in the same turn. Did we? Dr. No apparently is still alive, but... Okay. Yeah, we might as well take Raph then. Maybe I shouldn't have. That would have been pretty good. He's not using the mass attack page now. <laughs> Doctor, no, you fucking idiot! <laughs> well, he's gonna die anyway, right? But still. Oh my god! He rolled higher once. <gasps> he's actually dealing a little bit of damage. <laughs> Doctor, no! You're a hero! Down to two feet, two, four, three. Does that count as a flaw? I, I don't even know. Oh, we can go back to... Oh yeah, of course we can go back. They're not done yet. Uh, yeah, we will use them up. She's all on emotion, all full on emotion anyway. She won't be able to get any higher, I believe. And we might be able to get some burn on her. I don't know if activates once per act. Does this this counts like? Not activated for this one now, right? Hmm. Guess we'll see. Guess we'll see about that. Oh. Try to take this over with Marco for something. She's dead anyway. Oh, I have to unlock again. I don't have. Oh no, I do! So maybe I should do this instead. Actually, like, like this. Oh no, it will still. Will it still happen first? I don't know. I just need to get rid of a counter dice first. Which I did. Oh, which I did. Successfully, actually. What's going on? This feels far too easy currently. Her burn stacks up to 26 again. Well, here we go. Harry is dead. Uh, Malkov's gonna die. Good. Good. And Hunter? Hunter, not dead yet. Okay. Pretty good. What do I do now? I can. That would be like twice max 36 damage. Why could he love Nicole a little bit more? Yeah, I'm just gonna give this to her. Here we go, mass attack. Let's react to the mass attack first and then we're gonna like do everything else. If only I could choose this dice, here we go. Um four nine four nine four eight. 
But lucky, this worked quite good. If we're unlucky, well, we're unlucky then. Who cares? Okay, so her attack apparently goes first. She immediately kills Hunter. Uh, she's gonna kill Camille, I think. No, not quite. Okay, the Hornet went through. It's pretty effective. And we just unlocked. Which means Castigation is gonna happen next turn. Also, she's gonna be marked now. Thanks to attacking Camille. If it still like happens, even after Camille dies, I don't know. Um Flick damage and bind. Well, I kinda need to kill her now. Yeah, the wing beat. It's all I can do, basically. So... Oh, she's again targeting the last dice and it's a little bit fucky with the UI sometimes. Or do I want to use the Forgotten on it? Because the Wingbeat might not, like, pull through. I don't know, I think I'm gonna die here. I think there's nothing I can do to salvage the situation, to be honest. I can only hope that the damage she takes from attacking me will be high enough to do something. Yeah, whatever, let's just see. Yeah, I rolled lower, she took some damage, but it wasn't enough. She's down to 69. Sexy. 1 hour 20 of this episode, and I still haven't done it yet, but I have one floor available still. I believe, right? If Tiberius' floor doesn't count, I have two even. So I might take... Oh god, do we have... <sighs> yes, it's floor, would that be good enough? At least I know how this one works in a way, like, well, I can't remember how a Netsex floor really... what they did, or... Mm, Hot's floor would also be alright, and Gabura's floor, obviously, but Gabriella doesn't even have any gear. I'm gonna use the Essence floor. She's down to 53. I should be able to do this, right? I really should be able to do this. If I just react, if I just take it slow, you know? Just take it slow and inevitably a little bit of damage will always get through. Hopefully. Actually, I'm gonna do this instead. Why do we have... Why do I have to overcome Crisis on Yesod again? What is wrong with his deck? Okay, we're definitely gonna do Larigol. Even if this goes through then. Yeah. Okay, what are we doing here? Okay, we dealt a little bit of damage. Already I'm happy about this. Oh, <laughs> This is a real battle of attrition now. No, she staggered. Good old Galena. She's down to 4 HP though. <gasps> Come on. 4 HP, that should be doable somehow. God, not with this mass attack. It's individual again. Um, yeah, okay. Wait. Yeah. Okay, Emma, you might be the sacrificial lamb here, I'm sorry to say. I, I'm not quite sure yet. Maybe not. <gasps> the suppressing shot! That could be it! The range card that will always go through. Let's see it happen. Oh shit, this goes first. 
Please don't stagger. Yum yum. I did it! Yum yum! <laughs> MVP of all time! Couldn't call for the reception of the puppet here. First try, everyone. First try. A 5% chance to boost Pierce stagger damage by plus one. Nice. How did you get that, yum yum? I got three bucks out of that. Looking forward to burning her. That was a fun mechanic, the way she switched floors against your will. Angela, let Roland talk for a second. Believe me. Boranumurunkazinamasasautaga, Hmm, maybe because you tried to leave as well and you figured that out? Yeah, but other guests did leave, after all. Like we had people running away. Wait, I get her gear now? <gasps> Who's gonna get that? Oh my god, this feels like such a big power up. I suddenly get all of these like singular named characters that have incredibly crazy stuff. 그래, 네 말이 맞아. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, the power is gonna drop off again since my enemies get strong as well, but... Like, I will be at least be able to replace people with some MOOC pages, like the, the Liu stuff, for example. Maybe because... He didn't do anything. Wow. I feel dirty now. I didn't need to see that. Bye everyone.